Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Miranda and today I'm going to be talking all about lashes um, and how I apply my false lashes and my favorite types of lashes and all of that because it was requested by you guys that I do a video dedicated to just false lashes. Um, as you guys probably know, I pretty much wear false lashes every single time that I wear makeup, at least eye makeup. Um, I just am to a point where my natural lashes are dead to me. They don't do it for me. Um, I do very, you know, big dramatic liner and my natural lashes just don't look good with that. So, um, I'm just going to be talking about my personal favorite types of lashes. Um, and I will recommend some beginner lashes to those of you who maybe are just starting out or are trying to get into lashes or just want a very easy pair to, you know, start off with just because some lashes can be for more experienced lash wearers depending on how thick the band is. So without further ado, if you want to learn something about lashes or just hear what my favorite ones are, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna first start off by telling you guys about the glue I use and all of that. Personally, I use my hands to apply my lashes. I don't have um, any special tool. I don't use tweezers. I don't use any of that personally. And the glue that I use is by Eiler. It is the Vegas Nay Strip Lash Adhesive. And it's just in a little bottle. And I like this one personally because it has a little applicator where you have control over how much or how little you put on the lash. I know a really popular brand is duo and personally i've tried using duo i really don't like duo um duo comes in like a little squeezy tube and i feel like it's so messy and i always end up putting too much on and also the smell is like really disgusting and smells horrible um something to keep in mind though is that this one specifically does contain latex so if you're allergic to latex avoid this one personally i'm not obviously otherwise i wouldn't be using it um but i'm not sure if duo does or not i only used it one time and i hated it but i've been repurchasing this specific glue for a long time also when you buy lashes that come with glue i like those as well just because um Again, it twi the cap twists off and then it reveals a little tiny applicator. Well, that's what I used it as. I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to, but anything that has like an actual applicator, I think is just way easier. So personally, I'm just going to be talking about my favorite lashes and I will show them on the screen so you guys can see exactly which ones they look like. The pair that I get the most questions about are the ones that I do show in the demo, so you will see those up close. And these are my D22 lashes, and they are from AliExpress. Um, I'll have a link to all of the lashes that I talk about down in the description. The AliExpress ones, the link does have a lot of options, like it's not just a link to one specific lash type. Um, it has like, you choose which lash specifically that you want and you just wanna drop down the bar and select the D22 style if you are interested in getting these ones specifically. A pair of lashes that I don't have and probably won't repurchase just because the price is so ridiculous when now when I get my lashes from AliExpress, they're so much cheaper. Um, they're by Sudir lashes and they're in the style Claire. They are a beautiful, long, wispy, big and bold lash. Those are my favorite types of lashes personally, where they're big and bold, but not like scrunched together. They're not like a block on your eye, if that makes sense. 
they still the ends still wisp out but they look like lash extensions pretty much and that's pretty much the type of lash that i go for is if they give the appearance of lash extensions then i typically gravitate towards those but these sujir ones are not vegan and they're not cruelty free i think um they claim i think to be cruelty free but i've heard lots of people say that they're not so i'm not sure um but they're really beautiful and if you don't care about spending thirty dollars on a lash which i have done twice they were lashes that I used pretty much every day, um, but I just can't justify spending that kind of money on lashes anymore. Um, maybe at some point in the future I will repurchase them, but for now I'm happy with all the lashes that I have and I get them from AliExpress and they're like two bucks. So I just can't justify spending that kind of money again on lashes. Another pair of lashes that are really beautiful, and these ones are cruelty-free, which is great. And these are by Aether, Aether Lashes, but these are in the style Belladonna. They're really beautiful. Um, they're the type of lash that um, they're shorter in the front, and then they kind of wisp out. Um, but they look really natural. They're still really long. Um, typically, I'm not really sure how I feel about the lashes that flare out. Just because sometimes, depending on the eyeliner shape that you do, they don't always look right if the liner isn't going in the same direction as the lashes, if that makes any sense. But those are really, really pretty. Um, they're more of a natural, but still long lash. And that's kind of what I like, is I like them to look natural, but obviously they're not. So recently, I got sent a lot of lashes from a website called Bold Face Makeup. And this video is not sponsored, they just sent me a lot of their lashes, so I've been using them, obviously. I have a few pairs that I have started liking already and have been wearing more than one time. And one of the pairs is in the style Lash Goals. And these, to me, are almost like the lashes that I had from Sudir Lashes, the Claire Lashes, where they do look like a lash extension, they're just not as long. So what I have done is I've taken the bits and pieces from when I trim my D22 lashes, like the little I don't know if you guys can see, but just the little ends of the lashes from when I trim them. And I stick those, like, kind of like um, single lashes. What are they called? Like, you know, just like when you do the individual lashes. They have a name, but I can't think of what it's actually called. But I just stick those little ends on the outer corner of my lashes so it kind of fills them out a little bit more plus the d22 ones are a little bit longer than those um so it looks really pretty and granted the lash band doesn't always look the best when you do layer um individual lashes on top of the lash band already but i mean the effect that it gives um looks really pretty in my opinion i definitely think that the aliexpress lashes depending on what style you get but the d22 ones specifically um the sadir lashes and all of the bold face makeup lashes for sure do have a more thin band which makes it easier to maneuver and it makes it easier to bend to your lash shape but it also kind of just disguises the lash and makes them look more natural the thinner the band the easier they are to apply and the easier they are to disguise where you won't obviously see a big chunk of a line when you close your eyes um they just blend a little bit nicer and they aren't as easy to see 
um, when really up close. So that is something to keep in mind that the thinner, the thinner the lash band, the easier they are to put on. And I think that it's really good for beginners to not try and go for a lash band that's really thick, especially if you don't wear eyeliner. Um, you definitely want to go with a thinner band. Okay, two more lashes from Bold Face Makeup are going to be the style Rise and Grind and the style Mega Babe. I think I'm going to talk about another pair of lashes um, in just a minute that I will compare these ones to. But Rise and Grind is definitely a more natural looking lash where these definitely to me look like actual lashes um where they're long they're wispy um without being too thick or like a black um i think they look really pretty they just sometimes cannot be long enough if i do a really thick liner but if i do a more subdued one i think they look really pretty these ones remind me a lot of what lash extensions are um sorry that when i'm holding these up these don't look that good but in the close-up I'll make them look nice they definitely to me are more natural bold lash um and bold face makeup is really inexpensive the lashes are only um between eight to twelve dollars which I feel like is a little a little more than like an Ardell lash those are like what six or seven so, I mean, they're just a little bit more than what a drugstore lash would be. So, you can keep that in mind. So, the style Mega Babe. These ones actually look pretty identical to my Rouge and Rogue lashes in the style... In the style Electra, which I don't have the actual container so i don't want to hold these up because they might fall but the only thing i want to say about rouge and rogue is that their lashes are really good um the ones that i usually use are the style slayer which again i don't have a container for them but i'll do close-ups so you guys can actually see what they look like next to each other and i'll have them labeled um, but the Rouge and Rogue ones definitely do have a thicker band and I definitely find it a lot harder to apply those just because they want to not bend and not fit an eyeball. They just kind of always straighten out more than what I think they should since I have used my lashes over and over again. So it's just kind of weird to me that over time they don't get any easier to apply. Um, they definitely just have a harder time sticking down because again, they just want to straighten out and not stick down to the shape of my eye. Maybe I just have really round eyes. I'm not too sure. But the Style Mega Babe looks pretty darn close to what these Slayer ones look like and they're cheaper. So, I mean, if you like the style and look of Slayer Lashes, I definitely would just go with the Mega Babe ones because they look the exact same. So, moving on, the last brand that I want to talk about is Otaku Cosmetics, and they are definitely a smaller indie brand um, run by a really lovely girl. Um, I have an affiliate link with them um well yeah i have a code that kind of is an affiliate um but that's not why i'm talking about them because when i first got their lashes i was not an affiliate um i just always had a code with them but at first it was not affiliated but i really liked the lashes anyway so I do have a few pairs from them that I do like a lot. I have two that I want to show you if I can find them. So I have two pairs of Otaku Cosmetics lashes and they are going to be Junko and the style Amelia. So I've been saying over and over again I don't like my lashes to look like a brick across my eye. Um, I still like it to look more wispy and flared out. And Junko Cosmetics is 
not Junko Cosmetics. These style Junko are really, really nice. Um, they're still thick and wispy, but they do have, I like, I'll do a close-up so you guys can see, but I really like when the lashes have, like, chunks of, like, you can kind of see how it's, like, chunk, 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 and then in between the chunks, there are still lashes, but they're not as thick, and that's the effect that I really like. That's how most of these lashes look, is they just have, like, more in one spot and they're spread out and then in between the bigger chunks of lashes they're just a little bit thinner and i think it just looks more natural um it still lets you see the eyeshadow that you have on i really find that with the lashes that are just kind of across with like no gaps um they're really big they can kind of make my eyes look heavy um, sometimes they can even feel heavy, um, which just makes them a little bit more uncomfortable than what you typically would prefer. And then the style Amelia, same thing where it has the chunks of lashes. There's just more. Um, they're a little bit thicker than Junko, where Junko is more light and more natural, while Amelia definitely is more dramatic and they have thicker chunks and kind of more of them but still with the thinner gaps in between but both of those pairs I definitely think would be my favorite if I were to recommend any from Otaku Cosmetics is that I would either pick up Junko or Amelia which leads me into I know I said that Otaku Cosmetics is gonna be the last one that I talked about but I do want to recommend some natural easier lashes um that you can just pick up um without having to order online um but speaking of my jungle lashes um i'm not sure if you guys remember but maybe a year year and a half ago my go-to favorite lashes were the ardell lashes in the style 206 you can find them at some Rite Aids, um, my Ulta no longer carries them, which is kind of weird. Um, they carry the 207, which I think is just a little bit more of a dramatic version of 206. But the 206, they're not too long, but still give you a little something. Um, those used to be my everyday lashes was the Ardell 206. They're only like maybe $6.98. Like I said, you can pick them up at um, drugstores that are close to you. Personally, I've seen them at Rite Aid. Um, but granted, I have not looked at really Walgreens or CVS looking for them. Um, but those are a very good beginner lash in my opinion. Um, you can also get them off Amazon. I know I ordered kind of in bulk um, which I don't think I have a pair right now to show you guys. I'm not sure what happened to them. I may have just used them and then thrown them out because they got old, obviously. But I definitely think that if you're starting out into lashes, that those are a very good option. The very, very first lashes that I ever started wearing were the Ardell Demi Wispies, where... They do that thing where they are very thin towards the inner corner and then they flare out. But they're very, very subtle. Um, I would never dream of wearing them now just because they are so subtle. And with my lashes, I'm not subtle anymore. Um, but they're a very good beginner lash to wear if you're not doing very dramatic looks. Um, but maybe want to do a little baby wing um, with liner they definitely help accentuate that and then they have the normal wispies which was the next lash that I ended up wearing a lot and those are a more full the same shape across the lash where it's not tapered um, but they still look really good and they're definitely still a more natural um, looking lash where it's not too long and not too dramatic. Um, but Ardell as a brand in general, I definitely think, um, is a very good starter brand and they are cruelty free. I'm pretty positive. 
Um, and the lash bands are typically very thin. I haven't had a pair where the band was really thick. Um, and like I said, a thinner band makes it a lot easier to apply. And overall, just makes it a much better experience, especially when you're first starting out. Um, there are so many other lashes, of course, that I love, but those are the lashes that I typically wear um, all the time. I rarely will go to like a different lash shape unless maybe I'm doing a different look. I know when I'm doing a more natural look, I will wear a different type of lash to match that. Um, but it really just depends on the look that I'm doing. Um, but those are the lashes that I, I wear, I have worn, and continue to wear. Um, and I really don't change or sway from them very often. Um, I hope that this was kind of helpful. I'm not really sure if I talked about trimming your lashes. I think I did. Where when you first get a lash, you kind of want to put it on your eye and kind of see where it ends and starts because you really don't want to have an eyelash be long to where it goes all the way to your inner corner because it will hurt it will irritate your eye it won't stick down all the way because when you blink it of course will move and it's all around a very uncomfortable situation to be in so i really just trim um you know the lashes that i have when they do have the little chunks of lashes i usually will trim off the very end chunk and then i end up reusing those little pieces like what i said and i keep them as individual little single lashes to use when i do either bottom lashes that's what i do is just use cut up lashes from when lashes are too long i just use the end of it and I just put those on the bottom. Um, like I said, with the lash goals pair, I've been stacking those to kind of fill in more gaps and make them look more wispy and more like a lash extension. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I really have to say that I won't mention in the demo. So if you want to see how I actually apply lashes and talking through how I actually do it, then let's just jump into that. All right, guys, so I have you zoomed in so you can see what exactly I'm doing and how I do it. The lashes that I'm going to be putting on for the demo are going to be my AliExpress D22 lashes. These are the lashes that I wear most often and the ones that I get the most questions about. So I'm going to apply my glue. I personally use my fingers to apply my lashes. I'm not really sure how people use tweezers. I've never been able to do that. Um, you know, you can always try both ways to figure out which method works best for you. So when you first get a pair of lashes, you may have to trim them. Um, I already have my tr mine trimmed, obviously, but while the glue is on there, I kind of just go back and forth and just kind of bend it because it kind of forms a shape similar to that of an eyeball where it is more rounded. And what I try to do is I hold mine in the center of the lash, not the front and not the back but directly in the center and I try and kind of apply the center of the lash first and then I worry about the ends afterwards. And you just kind of wanna, you don't wanna put it on top of your lashes, but kind of just try and rest the false lash right over top of your false lashes. Or no, of your real lashes, I mean. And then just very gently do the front of the lash second once that middle part is down and I will just kind of very gently I'm not like pressing very hard trying not to disturb the rest of the lash because while it is wet 
it really won't like stick stick until it gets a little more dry. But I do just kind of try and enforce where I originally placed the lash. And you really want to make sure that your edges are down fully. I find that as long as this as long as like the the front and the end of the lash are actually on then like even if there was some part in the middle that wasn't fully down it would still stick yeah i don't know how people use tweezers <laughs> literally i don't know how and then i just kind of let it dry and then moving on to the second lash. Again, just starting with the center. I'm just kind of wiggling it over top of my natural lashes. And for my non-dominant eye, which is my left eye because I'm using my left hand, I do the end of the lash first and then move on to the inner corner. I'm not really sure why. Um, I think just starting with the left part of the lash is the easiest. Same with like this eye, like I start with the front and then do the end. I just start with the left side. And then of course, just gently enforcing where I put it. And then I'll go back to the other lash and I will just kind of pinch my natural lashes to kind of blend with the false lash. They do have tools that specifically are meant for that where it is meant not like an it's kind of like an eyelash curler where it clamps down but it is made to blend your false lashes to your natural lashes. But I really do it in the inner corner and on the outer side. Not really in the middle because those kind of look pretty good. Um, of course, I've been doing false lashes for a pretty long time, but I mean, that's just the way that I do it. And of course it takes practice. Once you do it a few times, you really get the hang of it. All right guys, but that is pretty much the end of this video. If there are any questions that maybe I didn't answer or something that um, I didn't talk about, but I think I talked about everything that I have to say about lashes, um, just go ahead and leave them down below. I hope that this was helpful and that maybe you guys will look into some of the lashes that I personally love or some of the ones that I said were really good for beginners too, if you are just starting out. But other than that, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for watching this video. Leave me any ideas of videos that you would like to see in the future. Also, ignore my hair. I'm like a calico cat at the moment. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna do next with it. Um, Granted, by the time you see this, I'll already have something changed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!